you? Yeah. There's a security yeah. problem right here. Security? <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Make sure it's all that. What's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, we're gray though, that's because the manager gets gray, not that. Relaxed gray now. Relaxed gray. I don't have to explain it. All my bad. You guys would be looking forward to the trip for a long time anyway, right? I was hoping Louie and Lori were trying to come, but it didn't work out. I was hoping they would come down too. Yeah, yeah. He was wanting to see some of his buddies. Louie wanted to see some of his buddies. He'll be back out there. Well, Donnie, since we missed us doing this so much. All right, exactly. <laughs> Here we go. Right, Donnie, after so many years here in Miami, what's it like walking back from the step of the big side? It's a little different. Obviously, I've been on this side uh, a few different times, but it's been a while since I've been on the business side. But uh, it's definitely always good flying into Miami. It's one of those places you've been long enough, you feel like you know you're at. And a uh, good feeling walking in the ballpark, even though it's a different entrance. Uh, but still, it's been good. Have you been keeping tabs on how the Marlins have been doing? And your absolutely, thoughts? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's something that you, you, you like seeing it go, and I'm you know, happy for obviously the guys that I had over there and Kim to kind of get what I know she kind of built it uh, the way she wanted it, and then kind of doing some things she wanted to do. And so it's good to see our have success. Um, and we'll see where we go. Hopefully we all meet up in a, in a really good place. Have you had a chance to catch up with anyone yet? Or? I haven't. First day, it's that yeah. first day of the series. You're always working, trying to get meetings in, and things like that. So it's been a little tough. Let's get had nothing but wonderful things to say about you. It's all that 2013 season. What do you remember about Ken back in 2013? No, Skip was uh, one of those guys who knew that he was always paying attention, always ready. Uh, I didn't really think about it. You don't think about guys at that point as you man. But uh, as you look back and think, oh, this is the kind of guy that's you know, in tune with the game and kind of goes with that catcher, uh, a guy that's not playing every day, that's always ready and prepared, sees what everybody's doing. And uh, you, know, you look back and you go, oh, Hey Don, I know that when you're now with the Jays, you're with the Nashville Stars. Oh yeah, a yeah. little bit. Tell me a little bit about how that's going and could you see yourself in the long run managing the Nashville Stars? Uh, Come on. I don't look at that. Really more as advisory role oh, yeah. and what they're trying to do. I live close to Nashville and a couple hours away and played in Nashville in 81. And I know it's just a growing city and will be a vibrant place place for baseball. Right. Uh, I don't know where it you know, came, but it's either relocation or you know add, adding teams, things like that. So uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Uh, obviously, try to be where your feet are, and that's Toronto right. right now. Uh, and, and doing my thing here, but I know you know good things are you know, on the back burner. And, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I followed your career when you were at the Nashville Stones. What were some of your better memories there? I think just the guys I played with. You always look back at the city. And at that point, you don't have any money to go out or do anything. So you're, like, you're just kind of to the ballpark and to your apartment. Uh, but just playing with guys like Willie McGee, uh, you know, Otis Nixon. There's a lot of guys that are our friends you know, still today. Seeing Willie when we go to St. Louis. Uh, guys I've played with, you think about those times. You mentioned being where you are. How have things been going in Toronto? Yeah. I mean, I, for me, personally, good. I think, obviously, we, you know, John's the guy that speaks to the club. Uh, but I, I think we, we're not happy exactly the way we're playing. I think we think we're better than that. Um, but I think you know, we're in a position to do what we need to do. Do you guys feel comfortable up, up there knowing that you had, uh, with being able to have some of the guys in the bullpen that you've had here over the years? Yeah, it seems like uh, there's been a combination, you know, a nice little relationship between Toronto and Miami and that bullpen. So, uh, you know, I'm comfortable pretty much wherever I am, so I never get uncomfortable for the most part, but it's always good to see places that you guys go. You know, you talked about relocation. I have to ask you this. How do you think that open any situation in Las Vegas is going to work out? Again, you know, it's not really my place, but... You know, Vegas seems to be a place that's jumping with all their sports and their teams. Obviously, they just win the Stanley Cup. 
So uh, a city that's, you know, the, the Raiders moved there. It's a city that's, that's happened. It's, there's quite a few things to do there. So it's all, you know, a place that I know guys would like going. <laughs> Not too much. I text today with Mel just so I'd get the, the name of the guy that I had to line up over to. Uh, and, I, and obviously, not from the standpoint of texting back and forth or anything like that, but I always watch, you know, when you, when you have guys, when I have you know, guys in LA or wherever I've been, you kind of always follow those guys from that point forward. Thank you, Josh.